Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I don't know if you can see this, but my headband says like and subscribe. <laughs> that was to celebrate my one year anniversary on YouTube, which was just last Friday. Um, so these are so stinking cute. I love them. This one I made for my daughter because she's on Zoom calls all day long and the poor thing, you know, some of her friends are still learning how to mute. <laughs> so he said, stay cute and mute because kindergartners are so stinking cute, but in order to stay cute, you gotta put yourself on mute. <laughs> so I'm making one for her teacher. And so I wanna show you how to do it. So the first thing that you've noticed is I have been on a tear with Inkscape because the only thing I do in Inkscape is I create an offset. An offset lets you read all your words so much more clearer. And it just really, I think, adds that extra little thing to all projects, whether it's just personalizing a Tumblr, um, you know, putting your name on anything, basically. Um, this really helps on banners, cake toppers. It just helps the words stick out a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is this. The other thing is, and I don't know if you can tell on here, but on this one, I definitely did it, and it looks in person, you can really tell. I kind of like, I love the offset, but I also like to make the, um, to have a little bit of layers on there. So for the like and subscribe, I have the glue dots that I always talk to you about by using your glue gun. So let's do that first while everything dries, right? So let's flip all this over. And I did it in, I mean, I think there's so many different colors that you can do it, but I did it in her school colors. So that's why it's just kind of blue and white, a little, a little dull. Um, all right, so get your heat gun going. This is the Lynn Lily um, glue gun by Shore Bonder. So it's so stinking cute, right? The colors are adorable. It has a glue catcher, like a dripper holder. <laughs> it has a stand, which I love because I don't wanna be fumbling around and where to put it. Um, and it's cordless when you pull it up, so it's awesome. Now it does sell out really quickly, so if you can't get one of these, I have a backup that's just Shore Bonder, but it's you know your boring black color one. So that's the only difference. Um, all right, so let's start by creating those glue dots. So I like to use my glue gun to do this, and we're all we're doing is we're creating space between the bottom layer and the top layer. So for instance, on the heart, um, you can either do one big fat glob, or in this case, I'm just gonna do three so you can kind of see it. Um, we're gonna let it dry. So by letting it dry, it's gonna give you a little bit of depth and distance between the layers, okay? So we'll put it aside, we're gonna do it for all of them. Now for the letters, I tend to do the dots right in the middle and then, and then when I apply the glue to make it actually stick, I hold it onto whatever I'm sticking it to and I kind of keep it balanced and that's how you don't have to have glue dots everywhere, but if you keep it balanced as it's drying, it will stay parallel. So just, just a tip, we'll, we'll talk about it one more time when we actually apply it, but um, I feel like the more times I tell you, then you'll remember. I always need those reminders. Okay, so here's the M in mute. And I like, so a lot of people will use um, the foam dots or the foam stickers, and it's fine. I, I don't mind using those, um, but what I don't like is sometimes you can see through because they're poking through the letters because they're a little bit too wide um, so you can see the sticker. So I love using the glue gun because especially like this one where it has the precision tip so you can get it on small little things without worrying about how it looks. Now this little and sign, the ampersand, is gonna be a little bit difficult. So I have it in two spots. Oops, we're almost done. I wanna make sure you can see it. Now, of course, you can do it in any color. Um, and I don't know if you can tell. This one's a little bit smaller. It was for my daughter. I like that the width is about six inches. That's what I have on my head. Um, the headband is on Amazon. It's on my Amazon shop if you want to 
um, get it. I wore this headband all day and it was so comfortable. So it doesn't give you a headache because it's not tight. So it doesn't squeeze in your temples. Um, and it was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much it is, but I bought like a ton of them because my, my daughter and her friends love to make headbands. And these are great. We also do pom-pom headbands. So we've done like watermelons on here. We've done panda ears, all sorts of stuff. So it's a really good buy. Um, and if you're wondering if, okay, so it's either on my link or you can just type in amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter and all my stuff is categorized by projects so this one is there is one for just um i think personalized headbands okay so i think everything is on here we'll start with the heart because that was the first thing that we did so i'm sure it's dry by now okay so these little guys they're gonna give us that depth that we want. So now this time, we wanna put the glue on and we're actually gonna use it to you know, glue it. Now, what I was saying is put it down and put your finger like this to keep it balanced and it will dry with the whole thing balanced. I mean, granted, this one had the three dots, so it's a very stable triangle, but I'll show you on the other ones, okay? Um, all right, so let's do this M. So this M is not quite as balanced because there's a dot here. It's almost like a diagonal dot, okay? So this is a good one to test out. So we're gonna put it, the M right here, put a little bit of glue on here to make sure it sticks. Okay. So when you put it down, once you put it down, put it where it's balanced where it's parallel, the whole M is parallel to this, and it will dry like that. Perfect. So even though it was, and I know this looks kind of off, but in person it's not off. I think it's just the way it is. Okay. Um, all right, so let's continue. This is the stay. So we'll do that next. I'm always worried I'm gonna burn myself. Okay, so we put it down and then keep your finger on where the glue dots are so that it dries the way you want to. And this one is really unbalanced because there is no, it should be top heavy because I didn't have any dots up at the S or the T, but it already dried and it's gonna be balanced. Let me see if I can turn it this way and you can see. So it's, it's very parallel, which is what we want. <laughs> All right, so next one is the word cute. Now I have the design space tutorial so you know how to do it in design space to cut it. I will say it's not perfect, but it's hard to be perfect on this one because I don't know what kind of headband you're using. So I'm gonna show you while it doesn't completely fit this headband, no one can see it when you're wearing it because we're going to hide all the flaws and make it easy to make. All right, so that's down. Let's get the rest of the word mute. That's what I love about the glue gun though. We can, um, we can correct all of that. Okay, so this is pretty balanced. It's gonna dry like that. I'm gonna let this dry before I pick off the glue. Um, and that was just me being so paranoid about getting burned. I've been burnt so many times by the glue gun. <laughs> and um, I use Neosporin. I just put a glob of Neosporin on and it really does by the next day it's gone but I still have that moment of panic. All right, here we go. So let's make sure that that dries parallel. There we go. Okay, so let's pull off. And it's also nice that we have a dark blue glitter cardstock. There. You can't even tell that I spilled glue on that. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, so here's our little headband. So we're gonna put it on like this. So it's gonna stay very flat. And you see these little teeth? We're just gonna fold it up and fold it over like this. We're gonna glue it, but this just kind of makes it more stable so we know where we wanna glue things. So this one barely, but I'm gonna put glue underneath to make sure it's very stable and it stays stable and steady, okay? So that's kind of like how it's gonna hold. The glue is gonna stay, it's gonna grab it all, so it's gonna stay very steady. Cause see, look at this. It's not flimsy at all. It's just like our cake toppers that we work on, okay? This is glitter cardstock, the background. And you, you know, like this one is, it's, it's a balanced um, saying, right? So there's a lot of white glitter cardstock in the back to hold it. Okay, so the first thing that I do is, we already know where the teeth are gonna go, but I'm gonna glue all around this top part to make sure that it stays where it should. So just take your glue gun, and if you feel like you need to put a lot, you can, but you don't need to right now. This is just keeping it stable so that we know where the headband's gonna be. And all that is gonna be hidden by our tissue paper, by our little fluffers. Okay, so that's down. Now, just attack each one of these teeth. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue up here. I'm gonna hold my finger down just, to, just so that it stays like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put glue on the back side underneath here, okay? So we already did the top part. We're gonna do the bottom just to make sure we're good. Okay, and then I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna put glue up here to get this little guy in. And I'm gonna grab a glue stick, give me a second. I didn't really put glue in the right spot, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Okay, so this one, same thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue up here and on the paper, and then bring it up and hold it for a little bit for it to dry like that. And then while we're waiting on this one to dry, I'm just gonna keep my finger there. On the middle one, let's build that glue on the inside so that it really sticks. All right. And like I said, I've been wearing, I wore this one all day on Friday and it doesn't budge. It's so awesome and it just, I love this headband. Okay. So that one's down. This one, I didn't like the way it was, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue here, and then I'm gonna push it down. Now just be mindful that it is hot, even through the paper, so. And then we're almost done. Almost dry. Oh, whoa. What happened to the camera view? Let's see if it's going to refocus. I'm sorry, it's on autofocus, so it should be focusing on this. I'll try to talk you through it while it's still a little blurry. Okay, so next is we're gonna grab the tissue paper, okay? Um, and just cut off about two inches, and then I'm gonna show you how to fold it. So this is just white. You can do any color that you want to that, you know, of course, coordinates with this. And so we're gonna cut off like two inches, okay? And I just folded this in half. I really haven't even measured how, how much I'm cutting. So. This is two by 14, but you could do two by 12. And then I'm just gonna fold it in half like this. 
And then what happens is I'm going to fold it in half like this. So that way it's going to give you a lot. And it looks like it's still too much, but that's okay. That'll give us room to like mess with it. So I'm so sorry about this camera angle. All right. So once you fold it in half, you have a couple layers. So let's put glue in the middle so that it stays folded just a little bit. And then now we're going to trim it. So just take your scissors and cut. Don't cut all the way down, of course. And this part, like really, it really doesn't matter because what I end up doing is like, I kind of smush it up. Oh good, it's, now it's better. So you see how it's like that. You can add more, you can add different colors, but basically we're gonna be gluing it along the headband like this. So you can see it covers everything that's up here, all that glue, and then we'll fluff this up. So let's see, if you did two by 16, you can fold it one more time like that. So that might be a, a better option. But okay, so let's glue this down. So what we're gonna do is put glue down again on the inside, okay? And then we're gonna take this whole thing and just press it in that glue. <laughs> and then Towards the edges, because I don't like the way it looks, I kind of bunch it up right here, and then I smush it together, and then I'll do a little dab of glue right here to keep it right there. So, and that's on, the, on one of the teeth right here that's bent over. So that way, no one will ever see that, and you can just fluff this up. I do think it would be better if, we, we had, if I had done a little bit more tissue paper, but we can always add another layer in, which I think I'll do that right now. But, and then same thing with this side, you see how it has that, that other tooth? So I'm gonna bunch it up right here, so I'm squeezing it in, and then I'm gonna glue it right there. And there you have it. So you can do another layer. I think I will, just because I feel like it's, it's missing. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm actually gonna fold it one more time because I'm just adding it right here, okay? And then you can even fold it in half like this so that when you add it, it's gonna give you a lot of filling. So then I'm gonna push this up because we won't need so much on the bottom. Okay, so let's cut this up. So you can see I'm not being precise or anything. I'm just smushing it and really making it fluffy and furry. And I'm gonna add it right there. So on this one, I'm gonna lift up all the little tabs and I'm gonna do my glue right here. And there you have it. So you really can't see any imperfections at all. That's gonna be really, really straight. From the side, you can't see anything because we bunched it up right there. On this side, we bunched it up as well. And now you just have a cute little headband. So just like, let me bring the others back in. So this is a little bit on the small side. This one is, let me see, it's about, five inches across, so five inches, that extra six really makes a difference. I think this one's okay for kids and then this one's more for adults. So remember, about six inches this way, you can see, um, oh, maybe, yeah, six and a quarter. And then this one is, this one's exactly six inches from side to side. All right, thank you so much. This came from a request from a user. 
um, that just asked me like, hey, how do you make headbands that stand up? Um, and I looked and we did it. So if you have a special request, please reach out to me and let me know whether it's a comment um, or you can email me at ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Um, I would love to help you on your special request. And then if you just comments, whatever, tell me what you like, what you don't like, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.